How long have you now been leader of the Planet Council? Since December. December the 8th, I think it was. And how's it gone? Uh, it's, uh, it's non-stop. It's certainly a very busy job. Um, a lot more to it than I thought, but, uh, you know, we're up for the challenge and it's uh, interesting times. Did you think the airport would be put up for sale? No idea. That was a real shock, to be honest. It, uh, and, it, you know, at the end of the day, it, it came just as the consultation had ended. So, because I think you could have done all sorts of funny things to those results. So, uh, so at least it did happen after, after the consultation was over. But the consultation itself was quite surprising. I mean, looking at the figures, not only was it a resounding vote against night flights, but analysing the figures a bit further, it looks like lots of people who weren't under the flight path voted against the... That's right, yeah. I mean, uh, it just shows how, how much people do care about the environment and what have you. I mean, I think everybody wants the, uh, the airport to succeed. Um, or most people want the airport to succeed, but um, I think the message is just not at any cost, you know. But do you think the airport is actually economically viable, given it's gone bust oh, in fact twice now? Yeah, I know, it is worrying, and, I, and it, it, you know, in the back of all our minds we're thinking, is it possible, you know, can, can they make a go of it? We've got to hope they can and uh, do all we can to support them, but uh, as you say, the, the message from the consultation was that, uh, that not at any environmental cost. Campaigners for tourism uh, are sort of worried about this plans to build a huge Tesco on Margate Sea seafront. I mean, what do you say to them? Because the Planning Council is now in favour of that development, yeah. isn't it? But the yes, it's an odd one because I was on the Planning Committee and I actually voted against it um, because of the, from my point of view, and it's, I can't change that. I changed, I, I voted against it because of the impact on the uh, seafront, the, the, the traffic on the seafront. Um, but. Uh, the thing, the, the thing, the matter is that it's, it, it's now out of our hands. It's in the hands of, uh, it's in the hands of the inspector and the planning inspector, and he'll make the final decision. And are you worried about the effects of the cuts on on, on the area? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really worried. There's there's cuts coming up to. Uh, they're, they're making council tax relief. Uh, they're, they're putting it local. Uh, and there's going to be cuts involved in that, and that really frightens me. I, I think it's, a, you know, for anybody, all the vulnerable groups, you know, whether you're elderly, uh, you know, not very well or whatever, disabled or, or anything like that, you're, I, I'd be worried now, and, and it's a shame, because they're the sort of people we should be supporting. Well, they're going to have to pay more in, in council tax? Um, there, there are plans coming up, that, as the way I see it at the moment, from the government this is, the way I see it at the moment, can only um, make the poorest working people worse off. Um, the people that we help with council relief, uh, tax relief, uh, could be affected detrimentally by plans that the, the government has. What about the NHS in Thanet, the health services, both the hospital and the uh, GPs? I mean, is that a worry as well? We, we're getting reports from people who are saying that they feel that services are already being cut in a kind of piecemeal way. I mean, I am worried about the NHS in general. I think, you know, we're all worried about the slow privatisation of, of the health service but also locally we've got this move and it, and it is worrying that the, the move to sort of take some services away to Ashford at the moment there's the, the, the proposals as I understand it uh, are only on certain aspects of health service but uh, what I'm worried is that, that will slowly be a uh, like a domino effect and we could end up losing things. and if we lose the training status of the of the hospital I think that could well be the end, for, you know, of the, of the hospital as we know it, and we'll certainly fight to, to stop that happening. Is that likely to happen? Do you think? Or is that a, is that? No, a that's, that, I think that could be an eventual consequence if we're not careful, and that's what I'm going to try to do my, do my damnedest to prevent. We were talking to somebody as a social worker, yeah. um, working with homeless people, and her hours have been cut, you know, yeah. cut, slashed basically by KCC. I mean, is that a worry as well? That's going to all have an impact on families. I think. KCC deal with education, social services, all the support services that residents need. And I think it's very, very worrying. I mean, uh, you know, it does worry me incredibly. And we're, we're doing everything we can to press, uh, you know, to, to stop them where we can or where they have to be made to do them in a fair or reasonable manner.